Hello everyone, I'm Fixer and I'm here to scratch my proverbial indie itch where I play short single session games like Gravity Bone and 30 Flights of Loving. So why am I playing these two games? Well, I recently learned that 30 Flights of Loving was an inspiration for both Firewatch and Virginia, games that I've put on my channel. Um, I don't think it's the content, I think it's the way the game was made. I believe. Something like that. I don't know. I couldn't tell you because I haven't played this or Gravity Bone or any other games made by Blendo Games. And they've made approximately seven games, I believe, or maybe eight now. And they all take place in the same universe, but I don't think they're direct sequels to each other. However, in this case, 30 Flights of Loving is a direct sequel to Gravity Bone. So what I'm going to do, um, I only had intentions on, on playing 30 Flights of Loving, but because I since learned that Gravity Bone is the prequel, then, um, then we'll play that as well. Um, you can get it on Steam right now for $5, um, 30 Flights of Lightning, and when you buy it, you get Gravity Bone for free. As far as this story goes, you can pause it and read it, but it basically tells you the story of Citizen Abel, who is, um, some kind of high-end heist professional. He likes to get involved in robbing expensive things and killing important people, or perhaps killing not very important people. I don't know. But I believe we're going to find out, maybe, in Gravity Bone. We'll do that. Perhaps. These are very short games. Um, I don't expect this video to be longer than 30 minutes. That's how short they are. And you'll notice it has a, a very stylized look. Teletrans 7 Private Contracting Service, The Saturday Club, Business Initiative, Wet Work. Go to the Furnace Room. Okay. They sound like uh, Charlie Brown's teachers, don't they? And parents. So we're in some fancy place in the middle of the mountains. I can't read that sign. Something club? And there's biplanes flying around. And there's a red one too. The Red Baron? I have no idea what they're for. And this is awfully loud. Can I fix the, the sound? I do have the sound though. Maybe it's the effects. There we go. Oh! Okay, I guess I'm here. Wrong button, I guess I hit E. So we're in the furnace room. And I jump. Aha! Deliver this drink to the man with red hair. Alright, sounds like an assassination if you ask me. I'm all for it, let's do it. I'm guessing that's our job. I don't see anybody with red hair. That's just brown. Oh my god, I can actually walk on people! This is fantastic! I don't think this is intended. I think I may have accidentally done this. Can I fall to my death? Oh shit! Um. Okay. So I guess you can fall to your death! That's hilarious. Alright. I'm sorry, we got serious business to tend to. Alright, let's go up the stairs this time. Maybe the, the man with red hair is up here. Oh, there he is. This is a very weird place. The Saturday Club. Very original. Here you go. Enjoy. Oh, boy. Find the exit? I know where that is. Is that it? Is it, is it going to be as simple as that? I think it is. Contract complete. Congratulations. 
The monitor released by Christ into the wine glass was successfully delivered to the target individual. Oh, that's kind of creepy. With assistance and ingenuity, we can detect the monitor released by spewing glasses and track the target individual across the galaxy. The galaxy? Uh, the are clean. Phantom pants bonus? I got $3,400. Alright, wonderful. Is that it? Alright, so this, this kind of puts a little bit of perspective in it. They can track them across the galaxy, so not everything is as it seems, right? I need to go to the furnace room again. So this is just not the same old planet Earth. Passionless moments. Lovely. No. Furnace room. Thank you for pointing it out. Alright. Can I, can I die to this? Alright, I obviously have to drop down here. Oh! What is that? Freon? And a hammer? Am I gonna break locks? I am. How do I switch weapons? Like that. Oh, it says right here. For the love of God, pay attention. Okay. Oh, wow. Should I be going in there? Another briefcase. Photograph the five birds. Alright, that's very strange. What's with this line going across here? I don't know what's going on, guys. I have no idea. Alright, we're going over here, apparently. What the hell's going on? Are these the birds I got a photograph, I guess? Can I, I need to switch camp. Oh, it's four, not three. So what is three? What? I can't get a good look at what this is. Some kind of schematic, some kind of plans. Uh, these are apparently spy birds. I have no idea. I want to see what the plans are. I guess he exploded while the door was closed. They look the same. Okay. Easy enough. It, it's... It's it's <laughs> raining and windy, but there's no clouds in the sky. And there's some kind of weird minecart up there. I'll have to lower the sound in uh, editing. Or really, maybe I can just uh, go down a little bit. That didn't seem to help. They're like suicide birds. Oh, I have to go up there? I, I can't exactly jump that high. I have no idea what's going on. And it looks pr pretty, uh, pretty steep. Had some kind of graphical glitch there, too. I have to get over there? Do I jump on the flag? Oh my god. Well, that answers that. There's blood on the walls and everything. Oops, did I hit the right button? I didn't mean to hit that button. Alright, cool. Alright, I believe... Oh! I made it. Alright, that feels kind of jank, but okay. Okay. 
yeah, I, I feel like I'm not making it, but it's letting me do it. It's almost like, yeah, you're bad, we're just gonna let you go. I have no idea why there's suicide birds. I mean, it, it just seems like silly spy stuff, I guess, right? Nice shadow. That's where I started. Oh my god, my stomach is growling. Alright, cool. Like Skyrim. <laughs> I was just checking. Oh, everybody's gone. Exit zone. Okay. Whoa! Oh, whatever. Your face is full of Freon. Don't even go there. So I guess she's a spy too. Oh, and she's taunting me. Are you gonna teabag me? Oh, wait a minute. I put a lot of work in getting those photos. Oh, damn. Look at her. Look at that exit. Can I chase her? Oh, this is amazing. We're having a chase scene. I have bullets in me, but apparently I'm keeping up with her. Can I run, run? No, this is it. Is she in here? I like the elevator music even though I'm chasing her in a subway. Oh shit! Oh! Well, that was a close call! Alright. I am running a little- whoa. Is that her? Oh, she's taunting me. That's BS. She had time to have a smoke. That's lame. What? What the hell is going on? Where are you going? I have no idea what's going on. None. Oh, but of course. Oh. My throat got a little dry there. No! No, I believe! What the hell was that? It's my, my life is flashing before my eyes. Okay. Am I... Oh, am I regretting everything I've done? Whatever. I almost had it. I almost had the damn birds. What the shit? I don't understand why there was a marathon. Was that... Was that her? She won. <laughs> I have no idea. I have no idea. There you go. Gravity Bone by Blendo Games. That didn't really tell me a whole lot. I, other than, I guess, Citizen Abel is a spy. And he assassinated some guy in red hair. And and then he um, had to take photographs of these new birds used for military reasons. But somebody got to it... And, well, somebody didn't get to it before me, but waited for me to get it and then killed me. Another bad person. Anyway. I apparently died at the end, so I don't know how 30 Flights of Loving is a sequel. I guess we're going to find out. WASD. What do we got here? Weekly monitor how the money have fallen. New clues in search for river notches. Napalm soaked peace talks. Alright, so we're in some Latin American country. The Picayune. El Presidente is dead. Long live Mecca Presidente. So there's been an overthrow of the government. Prohibition riot destroys zoo? 
Lunar Colony Secession? All right. Well, that I mean, that, that falls in line with the whole, you know, galaxy thing, right? If we're... We obviously have a lunar colony. Although, tracking them across the galley, galaxy... I, I, I would... I don't know. Lunar colony seems kind of small type thing. Like, oh yeah, we got a lunar colony. It's been up there for a year. Whereas, tracking them across the galaxy would suggest that perhaps we've done a little bit more than have a colony on the moon. I don't know. Nuevo Ceres, Wheel of Morality Department, Prohibition License. By Section Code, blah blah blah. The Federal Code has signed an extremist by the judicial ruling of Fravember. I've heard that word before, I don't know where. 114th. By the decree invested, it says a whole lot of nothing. Casomancy. I have no idea what's going on here. Alcoholic beverage. I can steal all. Vilkomen off Zauberberg. I don't know what Zauberberg is, but Vilkomen is welcome to. Welcome to Zauberberg, I guess. I'm just going to rob you blind. Oh! <gasps> what is that? What are you expecting to happen in here? Shame on you. I can't talk to them or anything. What is it? Maple Victory alcohol? This is. Is this maple syrup? Are we in Canada? I don't like the way you're looking at me. You guys are hiding shit back here, aren't you? Well, I guess I'm not going back. Too funny. Alright, well, what is this? Well, that's a long drop. Why it's here? I have no idea. Is this the this the mapley stuff? Is this the maple syrup? I don't know why it's blue. Whoa! All right, I guess the bullets are all mine. Midnight hobo, hammered and hurdum scotch. Thank you, Anita. Whoa! Whoa! Wow, what was that? I could do it. Demolitions Mechanic Sharpshooter Confectioner. Is that your backstory, I guess? Alright, and who are you? Borges? Forger, safe practitioner, pilot, and best man. Who is that? Is that Anita in there? No, a different color here. I don't think that's Anita. I don't know who that is. So you're the best man for somebody. That's a lot of bullets. <laughs> what about these big guns? You don't have any more of these? Don't look at me like that. Nice eyebrows. What is that? Is it some kind of computer or something? Damn, girl. She's got a, a, a bulletproof vest on and everything. What is on her leg? Whoa. Passports. So this is like their lair. Kugat Airfield. Strip COD. Vault. So it feels like to me, we're in some third world country, right? Um, some Central American, some Latin American country, I don't know. And we're going to an airfield. And we're heading to the vault. Dom, fire sector... Tertiary trunk line base 900 million. All right, and there's stupid geese over here. <laughs> Screw you guys. And these are like blueprints for the airport. Yeah, it looks like a runway, maybe. I don't know. No, maybe not. Oh, there's bullets. Oh no, I already got those. All right, so we have a heist. So I'm. So the three of us are are criminals. Oh, we got a plane. Can I? Is the water going to kill me? Oh. What is this thing? Is that like a bike or something? I think so. I can't pick up the tools. 
What's in the water? A whole lot of nothing. But a plane. Alright. Oh, and what's his face is a pilot. Alright, let's do this. I'm not flying this, am I? Alright, here they come. Let's do this. We got this. <laughs> oh, shit! Is she firing that at me? Oh, no! <laughs> what happened here? So she shot and he shot. I'm obviously okay. Did I shoot them? So we, we came down here, I guess. But they both got shot somehow. I don't understand. And I can't talk to them. She's not very happy with me. What? Well. Okay. Am I rescuing him? Why am I rescuing him and not her? Why is this door not flush with the ground? That's kind of weird. I don't understand what's going on. I'm rescuing him but not her? Where are we going? Oh my god, we're literally in the airport and there's like police balloons! Can they see me? What is going on outside? What the shit's going on? <coughs> oh! Okay, why is everybody moving so fast? Time's moving fast. What the hell's going on? Okay. Lots of different cities. El Rey. West Egg? Isn't that the city from The Great Gatsby? What are all these places? Baklavania, Vire River... El Rey, El Panza, Thamorio. Oh my god! <laughs> Alright, well that just happened. See ya. Alright, we're making a getaway with... What's this? Alright, well we made a getaway, getaway then. What am I... At? What is that? Oh, this is a bed. Oh, this is... This is our beds? That's Anita. She's eating an orange and she's not shot. And I can eat an orange too, and we're littering. Okay. Naranjas. And here's her vest. So, okay, so what it feels like to me is we're flashing back, and I can see totally where Virginia gets this from, right? We're flashing back. We're pushing him down the the airport, right? And we're flashing back. This is probably before the airport at some point. Uh, Bienjinsu. Bienjinsu? Club Bok Choy? We have clothing hanging up here. So yeah, this feels like it's sometime before the heist. So we're flashing back, like, where did it go wrong? Is that what we're doing? Oh my god, they have that cat thing on the clock. Alright, and she makes cake. There's other doors here, guys. Hello! It won't let me do anything with them. How about you? Nothing? How about you? Uh oh, where did they go? Alright, let's go down before we go up. Or not. <laughs> malfunctioning. Oh my god. Well, yeah, that does look like it's malfunctioning. Alright, so it obviously means for us to go up. Is that a door? Wait, that's where we just came from. There's cats. There's lots of cats! Oh, you look sad. Whoa. Alright, fellas. I'll see you in another life. Oh, and there's a little kitty. He blinked. Oh, it looked smaller. No roof access. I'll do what I want. 
I'll do what I want. Yeah, it's some some kind of third world country, I guess. We got lanterns. Is that the girl from the other game? Didn't she have this necktie? I can't talk to her. We're having a party. Hello. Can I dance too? These are the these are the people from from the um, the flashback for Borges. So he was the best man at this wedding, I'm guessing, right? Midnight Hobo, 7,000 proof vodka hall. Fan cutter? I don't know what that means. Panther Pilsner. I can't drink any of these. Where are the people at? Where's Borges and um, Anita? Hello! Are we getting the bride and groom to kiss? I hate that. That's so lame. Oh, best... Wait, you're the best man. You're supposed to be giving the speech. So why are we... we we're, so we, we're, we're planning a heist while at this wedding? Oh, wow. Oh, jeez. Whoa! We're downing the midnight hobo like nobody's business. Alright, that would... What the... F what? What? Is that just supposed to symbolize that they're all getting pissed drunk? I guess? Where did Anita go? I'm coming, I'm coming. I, I have a... Yeah. Big surprise here. I'm coming, darling. So we hook up. Okay. Um. Are we back in reality now? Is this some kind of love triangle thing going on here? Did he shoot her? Alright, well we're back here with what's-his-face, Borges, in the cart. Yeah, you can totally see where Virginia gets it from, right? Quadrilateral Cowboy. That is the game that the dev made after this one. I don't remember what year it was. 2014 something? I don't know. Lone Goose Third Person Pineapple in the Bubble Bitter Mellow I don't know what any of this stuff means. Just random ads? Alright. I don't think they mean anything. Whoa! Borges! They... <laughs> they know you're here. You're in trouble. Armed Robbery, Conspiracy, Forgery, and Bootlegging. Wanted by the Nuevo Series Department of Retribution. Oh my god. Department of Retribution. Moco, Rococo, Bingo Borges. Ba okay, those are nicknames, I guess. Bongo Borges. Romper Stomper Borges. Petulant Eerie. The Big Pie Goo. You, uh, you got a lot of names there, Chief. Oh, oh, oh you go get it, get it, get it. That's hilarious! I threw him to catch that! Well done, Borges, well done. Oh, he's he's like, I'm not entirely thrilled you did that. Forget what? Forget your past. And there's a loading screen? Alright, that was weird. Flying with Kuga Air. Forget your past. All the ads are turning into wanted signs. Alright. What the hell is this place? Where do I go? Oh! 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 Borges! Run! What? Oh my god! He's shooting things! What is... What are those little police balloons? And birds flying in the air? Like a clock? Oh my god, what the shit is happening? What is that? What the shit is happening? I'm not shooting, by the way. He's doing that himself. I have no idea what just happened. I have absolutely no idea what just happened. That, that, okay, well... That just happened. And why is this pink? Is it not loading properly? Uh, I think this is a design decision. Alright, well, we got problems. You can start shooting now, Borges. 
Borges, you can just start shooting. I can't make him shoot. Alright, maybe they won't see us. Let's go around. Oh, it worked! We're getting away! We're just... Wait, who's driving? Are you driving or am I driving? I think I'm driving. Borg oh! Well, you missed, Borges. Well done. Whoa, 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 whoa. Is that Borges? It is. Okay. Hello. Oh, it's Anita. Uh-oh. Well, there we go. Um, yeah, turn around. Turn around! Turn around! What? Okay, what's this? 30 Flights of Loving Doom Driven First Person Shooter 2012 Blendo Games. What the hell just happened? The end, 30 Flights of Loving, copyright, blah blah blah. Then it is agreed, my little cilantro friends, surrender the others and you shall be spared. I have no idea what's going on. So we, we evaded the police. Oh, so we evaded the police, right? And we're driving down the the street with our car. And, and I'm driving in the front seat. And what's his face? Borges is in the back seat shooting. And while I'm driving, it was another flashback. I guess it was a flashback perhaps to the time when we first fell in love with Anita. We were on a, a motorcycle and whatnot. And and she turned around and, and looked at us. And... and Kind of like it was almost like a dream, right? Right? The the car was coming at us in the dream, but it was really the car coming at us in real life, and and we hit it head on and and got killed. I guess is this like a, a Kenny thing from South Park? You die at the end of every episode. I don't know, but it doesn't feel like the end, does it? Thirty flights of loving. Created by Brendan Chung. A lot of blue wearing people around here. Chris Remo, this is the guy that did the music for Firewatch. I don't recognize any of these names though. Sat. Structural plans Mimi Kwan and MJ Kwan. Okay. Hey, there's our plane. Can I not click on this? It says E. 30 Flights of Loving Death Knox. Okay. I don't know what Death Knox is. Bernoulli's Principle. That's, um... That's that's airplanes, right? With the lift. That's what it is. His principle is the lift. Here's the principle. Okay. Fast-moving air crates. Yeah, this is... This is... Lift. Low pressure up high, high pressure down below, and it pushes the wings up. That's Bernoulli's principle. So what is it? It's giving me an education after I beat the game. And what does this have to do with the game anyways? Other than the fact that we, we flew. So 30 flights of loving, does that mean... Alright, so does 30 flights of loving mean that we've, we went on 30 heists with our plane... And we fell in love with Nita over that time. Is that what it is? But still, I don't understand why it's actually teaching us how planes fly. All birds... All birds need to fly are... I think it means all that birds need in order to fly are the right shaped wings, the right pressure, and the right angle. David Bernoulli. Yeah. There you go. This is an airplane wing. Fast moving air, slow moving air. And its shape makes the air on top go faster and lower pressure. So it lifts. Alright, I was just curious. I don't understand why it's teaching us this though. The end. And there's birds. Geese, gooses. 
And this is back when we were happiest in our life, I suppose. I don't understand. And we're back to career. And there's a developer commentary. I'm not going to do that, though. I'll save that for maybe another uh, video, or maybe I'll go read it afterwards. But anyways, I guess that's that's 30 Flights of Loving and uh, Gravity Bone. Yeah, that's the ticket. Well, um, I, I'm not sure if there's like a, a, a deeper meaning there. I, I, I have a feeling there isn't, or at least the game was made for you to pretty much draw your own conclusions. It feels like that's what Virginia did too, right? That that they they had a general meaning, but but they made it vague enough that you can draw your own conclusions. And they're probably interested in what kind of conclusions people draw. I don't think there's really much of a hidden meaning here. If there is, I didn't catch it. So we got a guy, a part of a trio, probably a love triangle, who likes to do heists. They assassinate people. They're a high-level spy. And they die at the end of every episode, I guess. And that's about it. Fantastic. Well, there you go. That was 30 Flights of Loving and Gravity Bone. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.